So, ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is solve, solve any system of equations by substitution. So basically, if we go through and follow step number one, step number one is to ice, identify the variable with one or negative one, right? Do you see a variable that has one or negative one as a coefficient? No? Yes. Which one? Y. This y? The y below it. The y below it, because that one has a coefficient of one, right? This one has a coefficient of one, right? It's just not written as an explicit one there, OK? So that's what we're going to want to do. Now, I didn't tell you guys this, but the way that I like to do this is um, actually, we'll write it to the side. So I do 2x plus y equals 10. So we found step number one, right? That's a 1 there. Then step number two, solve for the variable using inverse operations. So we identified y was the one with the coefficient of 1. Now we need to solve for it. So all we need to do to solve is to subtract 2x. So y equals negative 2x plus 10. Does everybody follow me for this? Yes? Yes? Oh, well, there's another step I didn't write in. I didn't finish the process. We'll go back to it, though. Um, now, step number three, it says, plug in the quantity the variable is equal to. So what is my variable equal to? y is equal to the quantity negative 2x plus 10. Does everybody see? This is the quantity that my variable is equal to. Does that make sense? OK. OK. Do you remember this? OK. Sorry. We just going to have to go through it. We're going to do a work problem, though, later. It'll be helpful. So we're going to plug in the quantity the variable is equal to into the other equation for the same variable. So we go back to our original. So we go back to the other equation and say, where was y? Well, y is right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to replace variable with the quantity. So instead of writing y, I'm going to rewrite it as the quantity. So it's going to be 3x plus 4 times my quantity, negative 2x plus 10 equals 12. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't really replace quantities with these boxes outlined by a red. Does anybody know the mathematical symbols that I should use to represent sub substituting them in? Yes? Parentheses, right? I just wanted to use this so you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. Because for some reason, this is like the most difficult part of substitution for our students to wrap their heads around. But mathematically, ladies and gentlemen, it should look like that. You just put them in parentheses. And the reason why we use parentheses is because that's a grouping symbol. Now I'm multiplying 4 times this. I need to apply distributive property. So what I have is 3x uh, minus 8x plus 10 equals 12. OK. Um, let's see. Next. Why you multiply 4 by 10? Multiply 4 by 10? I should have. Thank you. 40. My mistake. I did not follow my rules correctly. Now we want to make sure that we um, um, now we want to go ahead and ice solve, combine like terms, and solve. So first thing we do is going to subtract the 40 on both sides, and then I'll combine these. 3x minus um, 8x is going to give me a negative 5x. Equals this becomes. It's a negative 28, right? This something doesn't seem right. Oh, shoot, I lost my spot. Dang it. OK, yeah, it is that way. All right, so then I divide by negative 5. And I have x equals 28 over 5. Just leave it as a fraction, OK? Um, so we're going to simplify and solve for the other variable. Now, once I know what x is, remember, when you guys look at this, when we have the intersection, we have a value for x and we have a value for y, correct? Yeah. So if we know the value of x, we need to figure out what the value of y is. So what I can do is go back over here. Okay, 
and plug in the value of x back into this equation to solve for y. So I have y equals negative 2 times the value of x, which is 28 over 5 plus 10. So y equals, multiply negative 2, multiply that across. That's become a negative 56 over 5 plus 10. Before you guys are like, man, what do I do now? Rewrite this as a fraction. To add fractions, you have to get like terms. So you'd multiply by 5 over 5. So really, y equals negative 56 over 5 plus 50 over 5. Now that I have the same denominator, negative 56 plus 50 is going to be negative 6. So that's my x value. That's my y value. So the point of intersection is the coordinate point 28 fifths comma negative 6 fifths. Yes? I did 2 times 28. I multiplied the fraction. I multiplied directly across. So negative 2 times 28 is 56. 1 times 5 is 5. OK. Anybody have any other questions on that? Yes? Yep. Here to here. Basically, instead of doing 10 minus 2x, I wrote it as negative 2x plus 10. Because we always want to have it in slope intercept. We always like to have that variable in front. But yeah, it would be 10 minus 2x. I just switched them around. Any last questions?